<laughs> John Burton. Daniel Boone, we're back there. We're here over in Boonesboro. It's come a mighty snow here back in 1878. It reminds me of yesterday. All right, now we're going to step in through a time machine and go to Burton's Kitchen in 2015. What are we going to make, Mr. John Burton? Now here the snow angel is going to create some snow cream for those in the needy that don't have food on their table during this treacherous, uh, harsh time. So basically we're going to have homemade ice cream. Today in Bertoni's Kitchen, we're going to make what you call homemade ice cream, <laughs> which translates to snow cream. Okay? Obviously you want to get that pure white stuff. So I'm going to reach down here in a mug and get some pure white snow. And that's our cup of snow. Well, it just looks like I've just got a little sugar now. I'm going to show you how to pour it in the snow. <laughs> here goes. It's just a tab of sugar, I call it. It's what we used to say in the mountains. Just a tab plus a tab equals a dab, they say. So that's all you got to do. Okay, next, we're going to take Watkins Pure Vanilla Extract, and we're going to dose it about a teaspoon. Maybe a little bit more for added comfort. What we have here is 2% reduced fat milk from Duryman's. We're going to pour the milk in there with the ingredients that Kevin Horton has just added and the sugar added earlier. <laughs> and stir it up like so first, knocking down the edges real good on both sides, all around, and then stirring it up gently. Looks like we might need some more milk. Now We're we've out. We've got plenty of milk. Now we need more milk. <laughs> be hard to chase the cows down this deep snow. Need some more milk. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to make your snow cream a cream sickle or a dream sickle, just use McCormick's Pure Orange Extract. Just add about a, about a teaspoonful. That's all you got to do. Just mix them up. That good it is. Yeah, that's where we go. Bon appetit and people fly for miles just to get their snow cream in Moorhead, Kentucky. On February the 16th, 15,020. <laughs> <laughs>